English speaking course. Are you married? No, I'm divorced. When did you get divorced? About three years ago. Can I ask the reasons why? My wife left me. She said she didn't love me anymore. You must have been really sad. Yes, I was. Why didn't she love you anymore? She fell in love with my best friend. God, that must be much more terrible. You've been yawning three times, Bay. I'm sleepy. Let's go to bed, honey. No, I have to finish this show. Why don't we record it? The tape recorder is broken. We can watch the rerun. No, I'm watching the original. Bet you will fall asleep in one, two, three. Okay, I'll tell you how the show ends. Thanks. We have to save money from now on. But why? We need to buy a house. I think the price of a house is increasing. That's why we need to save money. All right, how much money do we need? We need to save enough money for a down payment. Can you be more specific? That's about $30,000. $30,000? That will take forever. We can buy one if we save every penny. Okay. Here's seven pennies. What do we have for dinner? Dunno. How about pizza? You already ate one at lunch. Can I have one more pizza tonight? Nah. Why? Because you need a variety. What's variety? We have to eat different things for each meal. You mean pepperoni pizza instead of a cheese pizza? No, I mean salad instead of pizza. Ugh, look at our house. Yes, it's very dirty. You should clean it. You'd better help me. Why do I have to? Because you helped make it dirty. <sighs> All right, what should I do? Clean the bathroom. Oh, that's easy. Clean the sink the tub, the counter, and the toilet. Hey, that's a lot of work. Tell me when you finish. No way, you're gonna give me more work. Have you finished writing a letter to our grandma? Yes, I have. Did you tell her about school? Yeah, I wrote about my friends at school and what I have learned. Have you put the letter in an envelope? Yes, I also sealed the envelope. Have you put a stamp on the envelope? Oh, 
I couldn't find any stamps. Mom puts them in the kitchen drawer. Let me find them again. Okay, here it is. I'm going to stick it to the envelope. Now give me the envelope. I'll mail it for you. Ugh. <sighs> when will Grandma learn about email? You've been watching TV for three hours. So? Don't you see you're wasting your life? I'm having fun. You're just a waiter upon providence. Who cares? I do. Get up and do something. Now! I've just done something. What? I turned up the volume. That's not what I meant by do something. Well, did you do something? Stay away from me, okay? Today's Sunday. What does that mean? Stop pretending that you don't know anything. I forgot. We have to go to the church? Oh, right. Put on a coat and tie. Why do I have to? To show respect to God and others. Glad that Sunday is only once a week. I hope God didn't hear that. He'll forgive me. Animals talk to each other? Of course. What do you think they talk about? About other animals? What else is on their minds? Maybe food and the weather? Do they talk about us? Yes, they do. What do they say? They say that we are funny looking. No, we're not. Only animals are funny looking. Animals don't wear clothes, but we do. So we're funny looking. I was upset with my mom. Hmm? Why? I warned her about her new boyfriend. She just ignored me. What happened? I gave her a lot of money to spend on herself. You're such a good child. But she gave it all to her boyfriend. Why did she do that? He said he would buy her a nice ring. Wow. Did he really do that? Nope. He lost it all gambling. Why does your mom still not realize that? It's too big to see the end of it. It's deep, too. I think it's five miles deep. Are there any fish at the bottom of the sea? Yes, there are. Are there any people there? No, people cannot breathe underwater. Great, I love fish. I will go to the bottom one day. Can I have your email address, please? It's blue dog one two three. Is that all, sir? Yeah. Well, that's not enough. Uh. 
I don't know what you mean. What's your mailing address? 456 Cherry Drive, Pasadena, California, 91170. That's correct. So what's the problem? Blue Dog 123 is just the street. You have to give me the city, state, and zip code. Oh, well, I get it. My email address is bluedog123 at yahoo.com. Jane, get out! Why are you so hurrying? I have to use the bathroom now! That's the result of drinking too much coffee, Tom. You cannot say that to a person who loves coffee like me. Well, it's up to you. Don't you think you eat too much chocolate? Nah. Have you looked in the mirror? Are you trying to say that I'm fat? I didn't say that. What did you say? I said I had to use the bathroom! <laughs> I knew that you would say so. Is there anything to eat? No idea. Let's check the fridge. We have bread, tomatoes, eggs, and ham. Oh, we can make a sandwich. Yeah, ham sandwich. We need mustard as well. Mom puts it in the cabinet. Can you get it for us? Yeah, here it is. Let me make sandwiches for us. Do you want some potato chips? I'd love to. Okay, let me buy some. Hungry, Mom. Check the fridge, Sarah. I'm looking and there's nothing to eat. Are you sure? Yeah, it's almost empty. But I went to the market yesterday. Mom, I truly don't see anything. There are lots of oranges and apples in the fridge. I don't want to eat fruit, Mom. It's not tasty. It's good for your health. Let me go to the market with you next time. No, thanks. Stop eating or buying any hot dogs and candy bars. Have you taken the shower, Sarah? I don't want to do that, Mom. You need a bath every day, girl. Why, Mom? You don't want to smell bad, young lady. But I'm not dirty. It's only your opinion. I don't smell anything on my body, Mom. I can smell you, Sarah. I can smell you too, Mom. That's perfume. It's different, girl. When can I wear perfume? My computer doesn't work. Hmm? The screen is black whenever I turn on my computer. Have you ever experienced this before? Oh. Maybe the hard drive crashed? That's too bad. I'm not really sure about it. You should go to any computer shop to check. Yeah, I'm gonna call HP first. Have you backed up the files? Yeah, I always do that. How smart you are.
Have you gone to any shops to check your computer? Yeah, I called HP. What did they say? My computer needs a new hard drive. How much do you need to buy a new one? Not much, about $85. Plus installation? No, my hard drive is quite easy to operate. Wow, really? Yeah, just a couple screws. Great! It's a lot better than paying someone more money to fix it for you. I'll call you if my hard drive crashes. I love listening to the radio. Wow, how often? Every day. What do you listen to? I listen to talk radio. What's that? People will discuss current events. What was the latest news you heard? Well, people said they wanted tax cuts. Why? Tax cuts will save them more money. Oh, I see. I'm tired. You'd better take a nap. I would do. And unplug your phone. Oh, sure. Do you want me to wake you up in an hour? No, thanks. I will set a timer. All right. Remember, dinner will start at six o'clock. Okay. I've just set a timer for an hour. If not, your nose will wake you up. <laughs> what does that mean? That means you might smell the food while sleeping. I'm not going to dream about anything. I'm really tired. Have a nice nap. Tom, I'm kind of nervous. About your wedding? Yeah. You should be happy, James. Yeah, but there will be a lot of responsibilities. Yeah, you have to be the breadwinner. You're right. I have to take care of my family. How many children do you want? We want to have a little boy and a little girl. Wonderful. As long as we can afford it. No wonder you're worried. Tom! Don't wipe your nose on your sleeve! I don't have any tissues, Mom. Go find one in the bathroom. I have to finish this online assignment. But your sleeves are not tissues. All my friends use their sleeves, Mom. It doesn't make sense to me. And I saw Dad wipe his nose on his sleeve yesterday. I'm going to tell him to stop doing that. I bet Dad did it all the time when he was young. No, he was a good boy, not like you. But you were not Dad's mommy. Come on, James, we need to help the police. What? Look at the TV, it's reporting a bank robbery. What does the robber look like? He's six feet tall, 200 pounds, black hair, and about 30 years old. Did they mention his race? Uh, no. Why doesn't TV news tell us about race anymore? 
because that would be racist. Oh, I'm sorry. It's going to be harder to catch someone if you don't know their race, Tom. You're right. If they don't tell us about race, they should mention the gender of the robber as well. That would be sexist! People are so funny. Why do you suddenly say so, babe? Did you hear about the pilot? No. The one who stole a small plane, remember? Oh, yeah, I heard about it once. He landed on a highway after being followed by two U.S. fighter jets. Did he crash? No, he didn't. He even walked to a restaurant. And the cops found out about him, didn't they? They did. He said that he was hoping that fighter jet would shoot him down. Poor guy. Ready, Lisa? I'm sorry. Ready for what? For a big switch. What are you talking about? The nation is switching to digital TV. Don't you know that? Oh, I see. Did you buy it? I don't need it. I bought a digital TV already. How much did it cost? $120 for a 13-inch screen. Quite cheap, right? And it can pick up any digital channels? Not really, I got six Korean channels, but nothing in English. You didn't dump the garbage into the trash bin on the street, right? Oh, I forgot. Take it out now! What time does the recycling truck come by? Usually at 12 a.m. on Tuesday. Do you mean tomorrow? So I will take it out the next morning. No, you won't! What do you mean? You get up too late to do anything! I won't forget. Please trust me. You may remember, but you won't have time to do it. Okay, okay, let me do it right now. Where are you going? To the bank. Why do you need to go there? Just to withdraw some money, sis. How can you do that? I will have to use the ATM. What's that? It's the automatic teller machine. And it will give you money? Yeah, you can make money by inserting a debit card into the machine. Wow, that means you are stealing? No, it will give me my own money. Oh, I thought it would give you free money. Winter's coming. I can feel it. You seem to really love winter. Yeah, because I love the snow. Agree. Making a snowman is fun. Remember last year we made a big snowman? Yeah, it was seven feet tall. I will never forget that it took us all day to finish. Wait, did we give him a nose? Yes, I brought my big carrot for the nose. Shall we make another big one this year? Definitely. Let's prepare some materials.
Beer is a powerful drug. Yeah, it gets us high and relieves stress. Cigarettes, too. Which one would you pick? I don't get your point. When you die, someone in heaven will offer you beer and cigarettes. And I only can only pick one of them? Yeah, don't be greedy. That's tough. I would take cigarettes. But you have to admit that cigarettes take much better with a cold beer. Nothing's perfect, my friend. Seems like heaven isn't a place for me. I don't understand art. Yeah, artists and art are just in a different world. I saw a painting of a jar that was full of pencils. Let me guess. The meaning of that painting is sorrow and emptiness, right? Exactly! But it was full of pencils, how can it be empty? Maybe artists don't see things literally? Have you ever seen anything that Picasso painted? I've seen a lot of his paintings. To be honest, his art is just like a third grade student. But his paintings are worth millions. I don't understand. And I don't want to understand. You will, one day. So, what will you give your mom today? I don't know what you're talking about. Today is Mother's Day. Oh, really? Yeah, it's all over the news. Oh, I didn't check the calendar. Well, you'd better make something for her. I'll make her a nice card. Is that all? Yes, I will draw a nicer card than the last one. She brings you up, and you just give her a card? It's alright, she knows I love her more than that. Mm -hmm.